Hi guys, welcome back to the Lycan Project. Uh, we're filming in a new location today, which is my office. I had hoped to have it ready by uh, the beginning of Q4 for 2020, so reach that goal. So this is my Q4 2020 goals. I've actually divided them into three sections which are more obtainable. Uh, so with 2020 being so crazy and stuff, I thought I'd, I've done a lot of pivoting and soul searching and stuff over the course of the back end of Q3. So I don't think I hit all my goals for Q3, but I'm like really happy with where the goals that I do have, have um, what I did achieve. Um, so, so I've got my notes. Uh, Q3 is, uh, Q4, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to focus on writing my platform and reading. So writing, um, given that NaNoWriMo is happening in November, so I'm diving deep into Preptober now. Uh, I want to do the first, the first fast draft with a full outline, <gasps> very crazy, uh, a full outline of my book two in the Devil's Bay series. Uh, so I can have that prepped and ready to the full outline prepped and ready this month so then I can just smash through my 50k for nano uh, and get that done because uh, I realized I was a pants last year I ended up my first draft of rippled reflections which is book one in Devil's Bay um, kind of the plot was too big so I then dialed it back and then that some of those ideas have had to be moved to book two. But I also need to make sure I don't add things in that don't need to be in there. Um, I'm also looking at approaching an overhaul of a uh, short fiction and poetry collection that I've got going. I'm also going to finally work on re-outlining the first book in my older YA new adult dark fantasy mythology retelling. So I've got that going. So that's all my writing goals for this month, uh, this quarter. Uh, for my author platform, I am looking at building it so that I can have the benefit of creating a strong and healthy community with me and everyone else um, and supporting others on their creative journeys. Um, so my mailing list, which is found on my website, which is thelikenproject.com, um, I would really like to grow, and I've also given myself numbers, which is a good, better, and best goal. Um, I'd really like to hit my, like, at least my best goals. Now, for the channel, I know I've been flip-flopping around, um, so I'm setting myself, like, big schedules and stuff. I'm going to do at least one live stream a month. That will be held at 7pm on the 15th of October, uh, Western Australian time. I've already got it scheduled, so if you want to jump on that with me, hit the remind button. Uh, I also am going to try and upload 26 videos for the rest of the year. Um, so this will be number one. Yes, this will be the first one, and at least I've got the live stream coming. Um, I also have a subscriber goals of a good, better, and best goal. Aiming, fingers crossed, for my better goal. No, my best, my better goal. So the middle of the road. Um, along with my Instagram, I'm also hoping to hit my middle goal of that as well. These sort of best, better, and best, good, better, and best goals were something I picked up from Sarah Cannon um, over at Sarah Cannon and Heart Breathings about setting goals. Of because then if you don't hit it then you're a bit huh, but then you can work towards them so you've got like your ultimate goal and then like an achievable goal um so they are my author platforms you can find me basically everywhere at the Lycan project um if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button give this video a like and ring the bell to get notified as I will be uploading things a lot more regularly um reading um at the beginning of the year I set myself a whole bunch of goals. I'm not going to hit my Goodreads goal unless I really get a motor on. I think I'm like seven books behind, so I'm just, whatever I actually end up reading at the end of the year, like book number wise, it's great. If not, I'm not going to stress, but I would like to complete some of those. Um, one of them being big books, 
given I'm dyslexic and I'm a slow reader, big books have always been a bit of a intimidation to me. So I am going to try and tackle a few of those, which I have a book, uh, big, uh, big 10 tomes to tackle in 2020. So I will link that down below. Let me know if you've read any of those or if you want to read any of those. Um, another uh, idea I got, I borrowed from Books with Emily Fox, which is the 2019 Goodreads Choice Awards. Um, I went through and sort of saw what was already on my list and sort of selected a whole bunch that I wanted to read um, and try and encourage myself to read those. Or, uh, and finally, I get lost in a whole bunch of series, so I also made a video about that, so I'll link those, uh, about what I wanted, a uh, series I wanted to either close out or catch up on. Uh, catching up on being as publicated, uh, as in publication at the end of 2019. So anything, any additional books that have come out this year, I'm not counting, uh, just so that <laughs> I don't keep going, oh, well, two books came out this year and I'm panicking. So that's what I'm doing. I want to choose five of those. I think there's like nine or 10 on that list. So yeah, that uh, that is a range of my goals for the end of 2020. I would love to hear what your goals are um, for the end of the year. I wish you all the best in completing those. Um, so yeah. Sorry, the dog's making a odd noise. So um, let's use our voices to promote positive change in the world. And I'd like to thank you and goodbye.